Evermore were two albums that I wrote in the pandemic. Um, I started writing folklore about two days into it, and then I, as soon as I put out folklore, I just couldn't stop writing, so I made Evermore immediately after that. And um, it was really an escape for me, and I tried lots of new things with this album. That's one thing that I'm very grateful to you for, because um, I like to try new things with my music. I like to, you know, started out in country music, then made pop albums, then made a folk album, and then another one. And uh, I really love to experiment. I think it helps me try to grow as an artist, and I wouldn't be able to do that if you weren't so excited about me doing that. So thank you for allowing me to experiment. I think that's true love, you know, giving someone the freedom to, to grow. And you have done that for me ever since I was a teenager, so I really appreciate it. On Folklore and Evermore, not only sounded different, but I was writing stories that were sort of created um, in my head, fictional characters, and, and uh, I think a few of my favorite fictional characters um, are in what I like to call the teenage love triangle on folklore. And, um, you know, that story revolves around a girl named Betty.